the whole theme of uh, the, the bigger theme of the conference is actually no one left behind and that's why the different themes the five themes are, uh, in the conference are actually making sure that women and including of course theme five that I am chairing is is they make sure that women and young people not only that but indigenous groups uh, the underprivileged the disabled are incorporated and included in the development the research and development and research in development and research for development, you know, uh, planning. Well, when we talk about research, one of the things we talk about a lot is the importance of making sure that research that's developed is actually useful on the ground. And so we need to be improving our research uh, apparatus uh, to get more effective results to the farmers that can actually be used. And a lot of those farmers, of course, uh, are women, uh, especially in Africa, and if we don't have research that's geared to the specific needs of, of women farmers, uh, then we will be failing to, to fully uh, uh, use the opportunity that research programs provide. Roots, tubers and bananas, in very many cases, are primarily produced by, by women. Very often men are involved as well. And there's a very clear, often gender differentiated roles in production and very marked differences in knowledge about our crops. So very often women, are, for example, are involved in processing and in preparing foods. So if we want to produce uh, varieties which are adoptable by a broad group of people, it's absolutely essential to understand the different perspectives of women and men with regard to those varieties and to understand the differential roles they play in production, commercialization and marketing. So for us, we take gender extremely seriously to understand how we can get better impacts, how we can get adoption of our technology. But we're also concerned actually with gender equity, that we don't just do better research, that the work that we do at the very least doesn't make the situation of women relative to men worse off. So gender is absolutely central, center, centerpiece for us in terms of doing agricultural research and making a difference. Gender is really essential because uh, in many countries in Africa, in Asia, and in South America as well, we see that women are playing a crucial role in agriculture. In many cases, they do all the work. And uh, so it's very important also when you design systems, when you think about innovations, that you include the women uh, also in the co-innovation, because an innovation is only going to work when it's being adopted. And I think what I've seen in many cases, the women are the ones determining if the technology is being adopted, yes or no. We need a research system that provides results that farmers can then use. And we need to reach all farmers. And farmers that in the past have been marginalized or, or left out of conventional research and extension systems have been women farmers as a group, uh, youth farmers as a group. Uh, so again, uh, we need to be more inclusive. And what's the point of doing research unless it's getting taken up? And if we're not addressing groups that may have been marginalized in the past, like, like women farmers or, or youth farmers, uh, then we're wasting money on the research to begin with. Youth is really very, very important, and we haven't given it enough attention. And actually, I think we lack the skills. We haven't thought about it enough. And perhaps we don't have enough younger people around to make the difference. I think it's extremely important that we have a younger generation of researchers coming into the research systems, into extension. And they can also help us to think, how do we engage the youth. Now in the root tuber and banana crops really need to, to reconfigure. We have growing cities, we have expanding populations and many root and tuber and bananas are grown locally. As we begin to address modern value chains we need to transform those products to make them healthier, to make them reduce food waste uh, and to make them less bulky and perishable. You know roots, tubers, bananas, potato cassava, they're all a bit bulky very often they need processing, they need added value. So there's big opportunities in there for doing things differently and adding value. So it creates a space for employment and there's a huge space in there for thinking about innovation and drawing in youth to contribute in a, that, an active way as entrepreneurs within these emerging value chains that we have to build about around roots, tubers and bananas. If we're gonna meet the huge pressures on, on, on agriculture to deliver the kinds of food products, the healthy products and to meet the growing demands of, of people living in cities. And of course, on top of that, we have climate change, which is putting more pressure onto what we do, and that's also got to be kind of factored into the equation. Well, the first is to recognize the problem that exists. 
And I think we've collectively have done a good job in accepting that the problem that exists. But then using the lens, uh, using the lens of what in particular uh, uh, would women farmers need or what would young farmers need as we develop research programs? I mean, which research programs get selected? How are they designed? How are they implemented? Um, if we don't take into account what may be the special needs of, of these groups that may have been marginalized in the past, again, we won't have as effective uh, a, a series of research programs as we'd like to have. So identify the problem and then use the special needs of these groups as a lens as, as research programs get um, uh, designed, selected, implemented. Here next year we have a new phase starting. We gave a lot of attention to, to gender in this current phase and I think now we need to take youth more seriously and we need to begin with an analysis of youth. Uh, I don't think you just go off there and do stuff. We need to understand what the interventions part, parts are and of course youth and gender are also kind of interacting. You've got young women, young men, so, so, so gender and youth are kind of intersecting uh, categories. So we need to also to draw on the gender analysis. So gender and, and youth is not the same thing, yeah. but we can enrich the gender analysis by looking at youth and we can enrich the youth analysis by understanding better what the differences are between young women and men. So we want to do more of that. And certainly the, the area of, of, of entrepreneurs or agripreneurs is one area where we see a large space for bringing in the youth much more dynamically to grow opportunities, but I think we need to involve them in many ways in our innovation systems so that we get a youth perspective on how we build a new generation of, agri of, of, of farmers. At, by including them at the different different levels, as a matter of fact. So some people say, okay, yeah, well, we, we include them in um, first at the first stage, for example, of, at, at like uh, getting, assessing their needs. Okay, but then when you come to taking these needs and developing plans, you don't include them anymore. So it's your understanding of the needs that they have expressed at a certain time. Maybe sometime, maybe you have assessed the needs a year ago, and now there are other things that you're not aware of. So when you come to planning, then you don't include them. Then you have to include them in the planning. Then in piloting, okay, you have a plan, you want to pilot because before starting implementing, definitely you have to have all the groups in there. You know, so that when you pilot, their needs are retest it again. Does this meet your need before you go into wide implementation? So then you go into wide implementation, they should be included in the implementation. Definitely when you go into evaluation, they have to be able to give their feedback and to evaluate and to affect the, the correction or the modification that you do to, to the, the, the thing before you start you know, re-implementing it again. So needs assessment, planning, designing, piloting, implementing, and evaluating, and modifying your initial design. All these stages, everyone should be included. And this is to, to ensure that no one is left behind. That's how you do it.